How's it going everybody? Rocky Mountain EDC here. And today I have a knife unboxing for you guys today. Just a quick knife unboxing video and just some of my first impressions after opening up the knife. So I took a little trip to Shields to get a new small compact fixed blade. So this knife unboxing video is from my own spent money. This is not sponsored. This is not uh, any free given knife. So this is from my own money. But I wanted to look at and see in my EDC rotation how the CRKT minimalist would compare to my outdoor edge lay duck. So this outdoor edge lay duck is my current EDC fixed blade. Again, uh, meant to be compact, meant to be easily uh, carried and concealed, not meant to be really for uh, extremely hard use, uh, but meant to be a reliable fixed blade EDC. So looking for kind of an alternative to this, I thought I would give the CRKT Minimalist a try. So this particular CRKT Minimalist is the cleaver version. And I'm not particularly a cleaver type uh, fan. Um, I will say that it is a very versatile, very utilitarian style design. However, I do prefer a somewhat of a point on my knives. Again, for a lot of piercing tasks. But considering my EDC already has a solid knife for piercing, I figured a more utilitarian uh, style blade would be good for my fixed blade. So let's get into the unboxing. So the CRKT Minimalist is not a new uh, design. It has been around for quite a while now, and it, it is very popular. Now, it is important to keep in mind that the CRKT Minimalist has a lot of different uh, blade styles and blade patterns. So it's important to keep that in mind. Definitely not a big fan of these clam packages, but uh, I am happy that I do have my um, Gerber dime to help kind of get these open here. So there is the knife itself. Again, cleaver style design, G10 handles, and I'll just tell you right off the bat, the ergonomics on this are absolutely amazing. I mean, just taking that out of the package there and getting to hold it in hand, those grooves definitely are very comfortable. And again, this is a compact style knife. So not meant to be very big. So for it being compact, Having the ability to actually have a very comfortable grip is very nice. And there is that lanyard there, so if you did need a little extra room, again, with three fingers on there, that lanyard kind of acts as another um, kind of gripping point in between your fingers to help kind of grab on. So that is very nice in that regard. So. We'll get into looking at a little bit more of what the knife has, but what else is inside? 
the package. So it looks like it, the sheath for the knife, see how good this retention is. Very good retention on the sheath. Again, no rattling, really nothing too bad. Uh, good retention. I feel like I have to uh, put a decent amount of um, pressure on here to pull that out. So that is pretty nice. It is secure inside this um, plastic polymer type sheath. So it is already appearing to be set up for neck carry because this can be both a neck knife and a uh, belt carry knife. So it looks like it's already set up for neck carry. I probably will not be using this as a neck carry knife. Maybe in the future, we'll see. Um, but I will probably be using uh, this belt attachment here uh, instead. So I prefer to have my carry be on the belt as opposed to um, on the neck. So we will um, definitely be trying that out. And this is a kind of a, an interesting uh, belt carry. It looks like um, you can just slide this on the belt. So there is no uh, really way of um, unclipping it off, which is both good and bad. So the LA Duck here has this clip on uh, for the belt. So you can clip it on, clip it off, but it can occasionally come unloose. But with this attachment that we can put on here, it is screwed on. So then you just slide this on the belt. So if you want to take off the entire uh, thing, then you will have to actually slide it off the belt once that is attached. Um, so we'll see how that goes in terms of carrying. Um, that is quite a narrow um, slit there. We'll see if that fits on my belt. But um, again, I will give an update in um, carrying this knife and seeing uh, how it does. So just in the unboxing, uh, this is uh, having G10 handles on the scales and it has just kind of this uh, very light paracord style uh, lanyard here. And it is, I believe, 5CR13 MOV steel. So nothing crazy, very budget steel, not going to hold an edge for very long. But again, as a secondary fixed blade to something that's going to have a little better edge retention, I like the 940. I'm not too concerned about that blade steel. And again, this was fairly affordable. This was um, just under 20 bucks for me. Um, so not bad for the price. Again, that cleaver style design, very nice straight edge, going to be really good for uh, looking like push cutting, very comfortable in hand, um, good jimping on the spine just from, from first appearances here. Um, and actually kind of has, looks like it has this swell here that um, you can kind of choke up on um, for a number of different positions and actually use. <coughs> So yeah, so the CRKT Minimalist Cleaver um, unboxing, and I say that we'll give this a shot, but at first glance, it seems like this will be a very nice addition to my EDC. Very compact, very nice. And the blade length is just about, is exactly two inches. So that's very nice. Um, very compact EDC. And the handle is about three inches. So three inches to two inch blade range, uh, blade inch ratio, very nice, very compact. Definitely going to enjoy this one. So if you like this video, please uh, like 
and subscribe to the Rocky Mountain EDC channel for more videos like this and to also see some of my other videos uh, that I have uploaded as well. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.